Yeah, we were all excited to watch history unfold. The first female spacewalk, go women, right? But then this happens. We find out that the male astronaut, Nick Haig, is accompanying Cook instead of McLean. So how did this happen? Well, I did a little digging to try and get to the bottom of all of it. Here's NASA's statement on the situation. It says that after McLean's first spacewalk last week, mission managers decided to adjust the assignments due in part to spacesuit availability. The statement continues to say that during her first spacewalk, McLean learned that the large spacesuit that she was wearing was too big and that she'd instead need to wear a medium suit to feel more comfortable. So after hearing about this, people expressed their questions, concerns, asking NASA, how can you not have extra suits available? Well, NASA responded. They tweeted this out earlier today, saying to stay on schedule with ISS upgrades, it's faster and safer to change spacewalker assignments than to reconfigure spacesuits. So you might be thinking, faster? Can't they just switch out suits? Well, there is another medium-sized suit on the ISS, but they say it wouldn't be ready in time for Friday's walk. McLean tweeted out this video showing her getting a suit ready for the previous spacewalk. It was about a month of fluid changes, cooling checks, getting the suits outfitted. So all in all, it's what seems to be the reasoning behind why McLean won't be going on the upcoming spacewalk. Right now, it looks like she'll be joining fellow astronaut David St. Jock on the April 8th spacewalk, but that's not set in stone just yet. And there's no word on when we'll actually see the first all-female spacewalk. So we'll continue keeping you all updated on all of this. But for now, I'm Shana Waltower, Crime 2 News.